Welcome to today's webinar, Apple Device Management for Beginners. I'm Kaylin Smith, and I'll be taking you through today's presentation. Let's start with a quick look at the agenda. First, a high level about Jamf and what we do. Then we'll discuss the Apple programs and services to help with deployments. After that, we'll look at the management lifecycle of Apple devices, then on to best practices for infrastructure planning, and we'll end with next steps and Q&A. Okay, let's get started with a little about Jamf. Our mission is to help organizations succeed with Apple. This focus allows us to provide the best in-class product for organizations to manage their Apple technology. Jamf solutions are here to help organizations connect, manage, and protect Apple devices. In today's webinar, we'll dive into the challenges one might face when it comes to securely connecting users to resources, managing devices and apps, and protecting data and privacy. We'll discuss solutions with a combination of our products, Jamf Pro, Jamf Connect, and Jamf Protect. Jamf helps more than 57,000 organizations manage 25 million plus Apple devices and counting. In fact, some of the world's largest banks, tech developers, brands, and companies choose Jamf. Jamf is in lockstep with Apple's release cadence. We don't want a new OS version to slow down your Apple deployments due to outdated or legacy tool sets, and our history shows a record of achieving those goals. Your team can deploy, or end users can upgrade to the newest operating system without penalty. Or, if your organization is not ready, that's okay, because with Jamf, IT can postpone the upgrades until the time is right. Regardless of when your team is ready to upgrade, we will be right there with you. Now, let's take a look at the programs and services that will support you as an IT admin. Jamf works by leveraging Apple's Push Notification Service, or APNs, to maintain a constant connection to your devices. It's the same service that sends notifications from your favorite app to your Apple device. All communication happens back to your Jamf Pro server and is kept secure. You can send various commands, apps, and profiles to your managed devices. This is known as Mobile Device Management, or MDM, and it works in iOS, tvOS, and macOS up devices. On the Mac, we take it one step further and install an agent for advanced Mac management. We'll talk more about the agent a little later in the webinar, but for right now, we're going to focus on MDM. MDM is Apple's built-in framework for managing their products. You'll build profiles that tell your devices the apps and settings they're supposed to have, these profiles use APNs to get to your managed devices, and you can build these profiles, which are simple XML files inside Jamf Pro. This brings us to Apple Business Manager. Apple Business Manager connects Apple devices and app purchases to Jamf Pro. It is also the tool that unlocks zero touch enrollment workflows and allows for apps to be distributed over the air, even without using Apple IDs. Let's take a look at what this portal has inside. First up are roles. Here's where you delegate responsibility to different team members, like an admin who can do it all, or a content manager who's only able to procure apps. Next is the apps book section, formerly VPP. This is where you manage your app and book licenses. A token is generated, which links your procured license to Jamf Pro. And devices. Here you add your Jamf Pro server and grab another token to enable zero touch enrollment you can also see all your purchased devices in one spot. If you're an education institution, Apple School Manager provides all the same functionality we just spoke about, but provides education-specific features such as managed Apple IDs for students and staff, SIS integration, access to the Apple Classroom app, and shared iPad deployments. After uploading the VPP and MDM tokens, you'll see this inside your Jamf Pro server. That's the Apple programs you'll leverage alongside Jamf, and we integrate seamlessly. Now, let's talk about lifecycle management of Apple devices. We'll use this workflow to do it. We start by deploying devices, configuring them, installing the right apps, gathering inventory data, ensuring they're secure, and providing our users a way to get apps and settings they need without having to ask IT. 
We'll start with zero touch deployments. The Mac you see here is how we give new Jamf employees their Mac with three easy steps. Open the box, power on, there is no step three. The same process works for Mac, iOS, and Apple TV. So let's take the role of an end user and see how it goes. We're booting up our Mac for the first time. We see the setup screen, so here we'll pick our language and we'll connect to Wi-Fi. So this does not need to be a corporate network at this time. We just need to connect to the internet to move forward to the next step, which is the remote management screen. This tells us Apple and Jamf have identified that the Mac is enrolled in Apple Business or School Manager and requires management that the end user cannot skip. The next step is to create a local computer account. Again, as an admin, you have control over what type of account is created. It could be an admin or a standard account. You can even skip this step altogether if you're using network-based accounts. Now, our Mac is finalizing the process. You may notice we didn't have to do more with standard setup. Our IT admin used Jamf to skip them because they aren't important right now. When we go to the desktop, you'll see a notification in the corner. If we zoom in, it says, installing software and security settings. Check out self-service for more resources. Heart IT, hmm, cute. Cue message from IT, and you have creative freedom to say whatever your heart desires. So let's break down what happened. We provisioned the device with Jam thanks to automatic device enrollment. We installed software using volume app distribution, and we sent out the security settings via Apple MDM framework. When we zoom back out and look at the user's self-service app, we can see this Mac is fully managed and the user is ready to go. And if we go one step further, we can see all the profiles and settings deployed here. Zero touch deployment is great, but if you have an environment that doesn't support that workflow, then there are other methods of enrolling devices. There are traditional image workflows, although these come with their own caveats alongside Apple's newest hardware and software. Or there is user-based enrollment, which you navigate to a unique enrollment URL to complete that process. Now, let's get into device configuration. We'll leverage Apple's MDM framework for this, and there are many options. Here are some examples. In the basics, you can enforce passcodes, restrictions, or VPN settings. With accounts, you can pre-populate email, calendars, and more. Under security, you can push certificates and enforce gatekeeper and file vault. And in advance, you get more control of dock configuration or different accessibility needs. These are also great since they work across Apple's device ecosystem. When it comes to Mac management though, MDM is good, but sometimes you need a little bit more for Macs. You need to do more advanced tasks like scripting, terminal commands, and this is why we have an agent. The Jamf agent is installed automatically when a Mac is first enrolled. It adds a hidden admin account, which gives an admin remote root access. It will let you remotely run tasks like policies, scripts, software updates, and a whole lot more. Here are some of the things the agent can do, such as installing packages, binding to a directory, installing printers, creating or modifying user accounts, and more. So when it comes to Mac management, Jamf offers both the MDM framework and the Jamf agent for total configuration. So we've deployed the devices, configured them, got some apps. Now let's gather some inventory data and make our lives a whole lot easier with automation. Jamf Pro collects a ton of inventory data. A few examples are computer name, IP, macOS version, and usage logs that show how often users are in a specific app. From there, we can build various groups. We can build two types of groups. The first one is a static one, where we plainly say, this set of devices is a group. This could be a building, a specific business unit, a lab, whatever you like. Then, after making the group, we can tell Jamf Pro to apply configuration profiles or Jamf agent policies to the group instead of one specific device. Our patented smart group technology, on the other hand, works the other way around. So we'll start by saying, find all the devices that meet this criteria. 
and Jamf Pro will then show you all the devices in that new smart group and you can apply profiles or policies from there. So how does this come in hand? Here are some examples. Policy 1, Policy 2, and Policy 3. With all these smart groups and policies, we can quickly see the health of our Apple fleet from the Jamf Pro dashboard. We can easily see how many Macs have FileVault turned on, have the secure Wi-Fi profile installed, or which ones are at the latest operating system. You can take a snapshot of the dashboard for quick reporting, or you can dive in deeper for auditing and compliance. Jamf Pro gives you full visibility into all of your Apple devices. Next, security controls. First off, if a Mac ever goes missing, you have options to help you, such as locking the Mac or remotely wiping it. On the iOS side, you can clear the passcode, set the wallpaper, enable lost mode, or shut down the device. There are many security controls you can leverage with Jamf Pro. Here are some everyday security tasks that IT admins use to keep their Mac secure. I'm going to highlight a few of these like enforce password policy, restrict system preferences, restrict consumer features, enforce gatekeeper settings, and enforce file vault encryption. You can even restrict specific apps. For example, if I don't want a program running on my Macs, I can create a policy that says, if this app runs, kill that process, and then delete the app from the system. Now let's talk about Jamf's self-service app. Self-service is your end user portal populated by IT approved resources that employees can get with just one click. Employees can easily install software, set up printers, configure email and VPN settings, and notify others about software updates. You can even customize the app with your company's logo. Here, we can see self-service in action. In this example, we've branded the app as Acme. Users can browse the home section to find IT approved apps, resources, printer drivers, maintenance scripts, ebooks, and more. If the user needs something additional, they click install. IT can even set up categories to make it easier for users to find what they are looking for. There is also a history tab to see what has been installed in the past. And finally, we can see any software that needs to be updated. All this is done without the user submitting an IT ticket and waiting for someone to fulfill that request. All these tasks can be automated and placed in the hands of the user with no ticket required. By not having to fulfill these tickets, IT saves time for everyone involved. The last section is infrastructure planning. When we look at Jamf Pro, there are core components. We have a web application, which is Tomcat and Java. We have a database that it talks to, which is MySQL. And we have some distribution points, such as SMB shares. All of that can be cloud hosted or run on premise. We have data centers across the globe for cloud customers and upgrades are handled automatically. For customers with additional needs, we have Jamf Premium Cloud. This allows you to choose when you'd like to upgrade, whitelist IPs, and more. We also support on-premise that can run on a Linux, Windows, or Mac OS server. Of course, Jamf isn't the only software in your environment. We realize that and honestly believe in this philosophy, Jamf N. Jamf N, whatever additional tools you need to get your job done. And we integrate with third-party tools too like Active Directory, Single Sign-On, Microsoft System Center, Cisco, ServiceNow, and we have our own API. You can use any single sign-on provider that uses security aceration markup language to log into your Jam Pro server and provide access to the self-service app. If you're using a Cisco network, you can leverage Fastlane, which lets you optimize the performance of your network. So, for example, you could give WebEx the highest priority and ensure that if someone is streaming a video on their lunch break, that that important meeting doesn't have bandwidth issues. You can also integrate with Cisco ICE for network control. Here you can look for unmanaged devices on the network 
and redirect them back to the enrollment screen. And if you're using the Cisco Security Connector, you can deploy that to your supervised iOS devices to take advantage of umbrella features. If you're using Intune for your PC management, we have an integration here too. You can send all your Mac inventory data to Intune to provide conditional access for the Mac, as well as create a great user-friendly path. Here's how it works. A Mac is managed by Jamf and is registered with Intune. Jamf Pro shares the inventory back to Intune. Intune then takes a look at the compliance of that Mac, and if it meets the specific criteria, access to protected company resources is granted. If Intune finds the Mac is out of compliance, it will block access to those resources and provide a user-friendly experience to get into compliance. We believe there are two major players in enterprise and education, Microsoft and Apple, and we believe this is where Jamf sits, bringing these worlds together. And there we have it. We've walked through the device lifecycle and taken a look at important considerations. Okay, so we just covered a lot of information, so let's recap. As we talked about today, we integrate with Apple's programs and services, APNs, Apple School Manager, automated MDM enrollment, automated purchasing of apps and books. Our Apple-focused product portfolio is here to help you succeed with Apple. Jamf Connect delivers streamlined Mac authentication and identity management. Leverage a single cloud identity on any Apple device to gain immediate access to the resources you need. Jamf offers the most comprehensive portfolio of Apple management products in the market. Jamf Now helps small and growing organizations manage their devices. And Jamf Pro is the gold standard in Apple management and helps some of the largest companies oversee their Apple devices. Jamf Protect is an endpoint security solution built for Mac. It gives security teams visibility into their devices and extends Apple's security and privacy model. Jamf also offers more to help you be successful. Our professional services offer on-location or remote services to customize Jamf for you. We offer certification courses led by our training team. And finally, we have world-class support from Apple experts across the globe, and we even offer 24-7 support via our premium packages. Of course, we are nothing without our customers, and that is proven with the Jamf Nation community. This online forum is home to over 100,000 Apple IT-focused individuals, and they learn from each other, discuss best practices, and have access to a wealth of resources and third-party tools. Create a free account today to join in on that discussion. Again, I want to thank you for attending this webinar.